Oh boy. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, another beautiful morning out here at the BP compound. We got dad's big ass boat out. Now today we're actually headed to the river. This boat will draft in like six inches of water. Great river boat built for catfishing. It's got the jet motor on it. We're gonna be able to get up shallow, get in this river. The river's really shallow, a lot of rock. We about, the only boat we can get through there is this one. My boat won't, my boat ain't gonna do it. So we're taking dad's boat out here today. We got plenty of bait, a lot of new rods because dad's just getting back into catfishing and he's been doing a lot of things to the boat so odds are if the catfish are still in the river used to we used to slay them we used to wear them out and uh, the rivers died out but we're thinking we've heard the catfish the big blues they're making a comeback so we're gonna go give it a shot we're gonna give it our best shot and go see what we can get hey dog are you ready for this morning i'm ready to fish dude you ready to fish what, what are we doing this morning Big blues, fresh uh, bait. Uh, uh, uh. What? You can't, you can't say where we're going. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. It's, it's a secret. <laughs> well, if the fish are back, it's a secret. We're going somewhere. We're going somewhere. Going after some big old blues. It's about 7 a.m. We're gonna hit the road and uh, unload this boat and get to fishing. Got the boat, she's about to go in the water. I haven't been on this river in freaking forever. I've never made a video on this river and I've also have never made a video out of this boat. Like we used to do fishing every weekend. Every weekend we were catfishing. Sometimes we'd go down to the coast and fish. You know, this boat has, a lot of my childhood memories are in this boat. Dad fully built this boat. It used to be just a straight John boat shell. He's done all the custom work to it. Turned into the absolute most perfect river boat. We just, we just kind of gave up on catfishing Catfishing wasn't all that great in the river. It was awesome in the river, but it's got worse and worse over time, you know. The hype about these big catfish have kind of died down around here. So we're thinking they might have made a comeback. So that's what we're hoping for. Are you ready? It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a freaking good day. A really good day. <laughs> she starts. Thank the Lord. I love that boat. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Can't go wrong with aluminum boat. Customize exactly for your needs. Bass boat conversions, catfish boats. I mean, they're just duck boats. There's just so much you can do with them. And uh, this is a great example. Boat drafts in like six inches of water. Steering's up front so you can see rocks. And I mean, it's made for running shallow. Completely just shallow freaking boat right here. Go ahead, hop on in here. Oh, there's so much room for activities. Got the 150 jet custom hatches all this dad put in the floor front steering these hatches even a throw net drain yes it has a throw net drain think about it he built this boat before like i think it was early 2000s boats didn't even no boating company actually came out with these yet and he was kind of the first to design it now they're selling them on boats hopefully we'll be putting a big old blue cat in this net this net has not seen a big fish in a long time went and got some bait we got some bigger eight inch nine inch stuff in here but uh she'll do Captain, where are we going to first? Upstream. Upstream? We're going to start up upstream and work our way all the way back looking for them? Yeah. That sounds it's good to me. It's easier to work back so you don't have to drive through your fish. Dad just made a good point right there. It's easier to go straight upstream and work back the way you can float down on the fish if, if we are able to see them or got a good spot to fish. We ain't got to drive up river and bomb. We'll uh, run upstream real quick. It's going to be a cold ride, that's for sure. <laughs> I got the powerhouse shut down right now. That's why all the water's coming all over the dam. We're doing a lot of work to the powerhouse, putting in new turbines and whatnot. Used to, you could fish on the powerhouse, and uh, a lot of people fish these rocks over here by the dam. It's a great place to fish, that's for sure. Head downstream just a little bit. We just want to roll up here and see what's going on. Yo, yeah, oh my guy, what just happened? He's putting the anchor down, and he ran out of the line. He's like, hold on to it. This current is impressive today, boys. Oh, rope burn. Yeah, I dropped the anchor, and I'll whoop. I was, holding, I was holding on to it as much as I could. And finally, I just threw line overboard and uh, went ahead and put it on the cleat. We're anchored up. Yes, we're anchored up sideways in the river. 
that's a big advantage of a bigger boat like this never do this in a small boat but in a bigger boat it is perfect for it you get so much room so many rods can go out instead of how most people like that guy is anchored over there they only fish off the back of the boat because it's too dangerous to anchor sideways in extreme current like this no little secret to uh fishing big boats in small rivers we got some rods out now well uh, let's just wait for a fish now we wanted to be anchored a little bit further out maybe another 20 yards would put us right on that hole we we're trying to hit but we'll just work with what we got shoot That's okay right where i wanted it right in that slack current behind that rock deep hole heads out right behind that rock. oh yeah hey you know what we don't have to worry about like yesterday what's that them pecking at it <laughs> this is gonna bow the rod over and we're gonna be on son we, we don't gotta play with no little fish here i'll hit that reel yeah, he's on there whatever it is it's something it's small something it's a little baby only as a car though Yeah, flathead. baby flathead, man. Oh, it's down here. Yeah. <laughs> when it came up, by the sun, the glare, I couldn't tell what it was at first. Huh. Little baby flathead. Little baby flathead, y'all. First fish of the day. Really small flathead. Not exactly what we're after. Fish, though. Yeah, that's what matters. We, we got the first fish. All right, boys. A little flathead going back. We'll get the release for Snapchat. Oh, there you go, little buddy. Bye, dude. She gone. She gone. First fish of the day. Little flathead. Pretty rare for us, but I mean, last time we fished, I mean, what was it, two years ago? One thing we caught was a baby channel. Never seen a channel catfish in this river before. Not a good sign, but uh, hey, little flathead will do. That's kind of cool. Little fish. Little fish. Anchor time, y'all. We're moving spots. Little flathead. I know he's actually caught on cut bait, which probably seems odd to y'all. Coming out of hibernation right now, it's about time they're just scavenging. They're trying to get their weight back up, so they will eat cut bait a lot more often this time of the year. Still a little bit early, but we're moving spots. We sat there a good 15 minutes. We're just going to each spot, sitting for 15 minutes each deep hole. We're covering water pretty good. See how he came to the surface? There you go, Bubba. There's a good one. He hooked up. He just came off. He came off. He just popped off. Dang it, that was a good one. He bent the rod over. She gone. Did you see a stick come up with it? I saw a stick, dude. That was I think. a brim. <laughs> <laughs> he said that was a brim. I think it broke. It snapped the leader. It broke. What is this, Captain? Yeah, it shouldn't have snapped it. What pound break or what pound mono is 40. that? 40. First, first good fish of the day. That was probably what, 20 pounder? I won't say that was like a 20 pounder. Was he smoking drag? I couldn't hear or see it. If he was smoking drag, I'd say he's 30. Hey, that would have been your PV, man. That would have been my PV. Would have been his PV. She gone. Fish was pulling yeah. drag, ran over to it. You got on it quick. Yeah, it, it was there, man. And then I saw its tail come up for a second. I thought I saw a little stick with it. Yeah. And then went back down and she gone. She, but it was pulling drag oh, off it, the start. Dude, it, was, it was pulling that's, drag. How tight is these drags? That one was kind of loose, just so I can get it. Oh, that's a good, that's, that's I tight fine. You tighten that yeah. one? Yeah, that was a little loose. Cause I, I couldn't, I couldn't get down on it. It's alright, they're biting, it's a Hell good yeah. sign. Rods are out yet again, or retying that one, that one broke off. Nice little spread out here. The soldiers, as dad likes to call them, are out and ready for war. We're watching this rod, boys. Just had a little bit of some something hitting it. Could have been a gar though. We'll, we'll wait and see, he'll, he'll come back for it. Probably still. Reel down on it a bit. Okay, he popped off, didn't he? I let it sit for five more minutes and oh, he's back on it. Wait. Well, that could be the current there, but he definitely was on it. Yeah, let's wait see if he come back to it. Reel down on it. Reel down on it. Hung up on something. Up. He got you in limbs or something. Peter's just not having good luck. Popping fish off, and there's two hits right in a row on these two rods. Just so one of them needs to bow over. We just need to bring in the cat fish, and then it'll be my turn again. Come on, you silly sons of dicks. There's your fish, Bubba. Used to. I want to reel down on it so bad. Reel down, reel down. No, you missed it. Oh, I think you just dropped it as soon as you reeled down. <laughs> I'm tired of them playing with it, man. Getting more bites down here, but we can't get a connection going. They just keep flipping at it. Possibly gar. Current's moving a little fast for that, but I mean, we'll just see how it goes. Something small. He ain't, ain't hitting it like a big fish, that's for sure. He'll form and reel down when he's on it. There he is. No, he's on there. Yes, sir. You better get this one in so it's my turn to fish. <laughs> yeah. Look how dark he is. Yeah, a little baby. What is he, man? Don't tell me he's not flat. Let's see him. Is that another little flat? 
<laughs> what is going on today? Little flatheads. We, I mean, we did hook that one big blue. So, water temperature 57. What the heck? Weird stuff going on today. But uh, we'll just we'll just keep rolling with it. We'll keep rolling with it. I know it's about flatheads. Do what? They don't bite. Yeah. The most gentle catfish there is. They never bite. Think he's small enough for the fish tank? Yeah, let's throw him in. <laughs> Beautiful fish though. It's been slow, but as long as we're getting action, it's nice. Yeah. They're so pretty, man. I love flatheads. Well, look at that pretty fish. Yeah. So pretty. <laughs> arp, arp, put me back. Arp, arp, put me back. Get the little release on them. Thank you, buddy. Try to get you wet. There you go. After this spot, we're headed to get lunch and we're going to a totally new spot about six miles down river. Used to be the spot. Gotta go give it a shot though. See where the blues are at. We gotta find them. Good one. Go in water. Go for it. Put out a fire, daddy. Halfway <laughs> across the river. <laughs> He's always like that ever since he was a kid. On to the next spot. Well, boys, headed to another top secret location. What you thinking? New water, new territory. New water? No. New spot. Oh well, boys, looking like it's gonna be good. We gotta start some lines in the water and really, really test the water. Because we'll fish all the same holes as last time. We're not scouting today, so uh, we'll scout with the bait in the water. That's how we're gonna do this. All right, Captain Price, give us a little rundown of what's happening. Facing foot some soldiers to war. Soldiers to war. So uh, what you thinking about this spot? Since the flatheads are biting a little bit, this would be a good spot. We're gonna target flatheads real quick to see how it goes with, with the cut bait. You know, live bait would work better for this situation, but we'll make do with what we have. The flatheads, I mean, the other guys that we talked to, they caught two flatheads. Throw some cut bait, see what happens. I know they were throwing cut bait for sure. So, I mean, they're just picking up cut bait like a blue cat almost. So, let's get some rods out. Oh, it's looking yummy. Give it a shot, we'll see what happens. Mama caught her 46 pound flatty here. 46 pound flathead. It's a big looking fish. That's a big one. All right, rock, paper, scissors for next fish. Since oh, you yeah. lost that rock, one. Paper, scissor. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. shoot. All right. On shoot. All right. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, you got next fish. Dad's got a lot of confidence in this spot, boys. He's fished this more than anybody else. So uh, let's see. I want I want horse them too hard. I'm not Don't pop another leader. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Dad. What'd you say? This was a spot, huh? Yeah, that's it's a heavy. bigger fish. He's a heavy one. He's shaking his head so much, man. <laughs> he still might be a forty. <laughs> like, he's a 40 <laughs> he's littler than we think. He still might be a forty. <laughs> Oh, I think switching up locations was right, yeah, man. man. That's a good fish, though. Coming up? Yeah. Oh, he's swirling pretty hard. He's a good fish. Yeah, he's still a good fish. Let's see what he is, though. Let's see what he is. Oh, oh yeah. A little 20 blue. Maybe 18. You're right, man. They're black. Uh-huh. There we go. A little bit better. We're, hey, we're working on it. Oh, yeah. We're working on it, man. Getting up there. Getting better. 26. You think that fish was... You think that's a 26? Yep. You got the scale? We got we gotta weigh him. Make it see if it's his new PB. What's your PB? 25, man. It's 25? Dad's like... saying 26. I don't think he's that big. We we'll have to throw him on the scale, man. Well, baby, that's still not what we're looking for, but huh? we're, we're we're moving up, though. We're yeah, moving man. up. That's what matters. See what he weighs. He's gonna bite me hard. I already know. I'm looking at him. Yeah, I'll go ahead and get the stringer out. Oh, get the old old cat the stringer out. This thing's falling apart. I'm so dead. Hey, what'd that take? Two that minutes. That one's getting bit. That so long. A little double action? You ain't taking it. All right, what you think? You think he's gonna break your PB? I'm praying, dude. It's only 25. <laughs> it's, not, it's not that big. This is in kilograms, I think, but just give, give it a shot. Let's say 8.90. What's that in kilograms? A kilogram's like, what, three pounds? Hey, Siri, convert 8.90 kilograms into pounds. Oh, Siri. Let's see it. 8.9 kilograms 20. is 19.62 pounds. 1962. <laughs> I still love you. It's all right. Oh, are you in pounds now? Yeah, about the same, yep. We gotta break his PB, that's what we're working at today. Breaking his PB. Maybe we'll break mine. Mine's, mine's like, what, 40 something, but maybe we'll break my PB too. We'll throw him on the stringer. Dad made this stringer. What year you think he made this stringer? 19 something? Just a long, long time, time ago. ago. He doesn't like to talk about it. <laughs> you have to throw him on the spinner. Yeah, on the stringer, boys. Let's get that rod back out there. And then it'll be old Braden's turn to reel in a monster. Let's hope and let's, let's go for a 50. Let's go for a 50 real quick. Or a big old flathead. That'd be dope, too. Come on, just bend it over, son. Bend it over. Just, just nibbling at it, man. 40, 40 pounders in one night right at this spot. That one right there. Boat's moving, never mind. Get on. Um, you there? Yeah. Yes, sir. You don't feel big. 
Got a little bit of weight. Oh, okay. He's got a little feisty one, dog. He waking up. He waking up. He's holding ground pretty good. I will see. This this is real far out there. Yeah, big one. Oh, ho, ho, a little splash, splash. He might be a little bigger. Uh, not, not too, not too big. All right, come here, boy. And he's up. Stop that. There's another one, boys. Well, we got we got Joe a friend. What's this one's name? <laughs> John. What's his name? This Bob. One? This could be Bob. Bob. We got Bob and Joe. He's That'll going on the stringer with Joe. Yeah, I'll see what else we can pull out of here. Let's get a weight on him real quick. What are your guesses? 22. I say 24. Let's stop that 19. It's the same size as your fish is what it looks like. Let's try again. Scale is zeroed out. 22.8. Yeah, we'll just say 20 pounds. She's a big one. Not much of an upgrade, but we're getting somewhere. Joe's got a friend. Oh, let's see these fish. There you boys go. See, let's see how Joe's doing. Joe's oh, yeah. kicking, dude. Joe's just kicking. He's chilling, man. He's chilling. He's just chilling. All right, well, this, this spot produced one. Maybe we'll get on another, and we'll see here in a second. Gosh, I'd love for one of these rushes. This is peeling dry. That make me feel so. Pretty good, boys. All the rods are out. All the rods are set. New spot. Let's, let's I get it. What you think about this location? I'm um, actually. This is the best feeling location. Best feeling location. Yeah. You feel like a 40 is about to come out of here? Uh, 35. 35. 35. Dad, what you think? <laughs> <laughs> 35 right here. Middle rod. That's rare. I bet he just bumps and is done with. No, I can hold this camera all I want. He ain't gonna take it. Just goes down, and starts spooling. <laughs> Over here, there's geese over there, and I'm trying to figure out if it's game lands or not to go hunt it. Oh, this feels good, dude. You sure? Yeah. It might break your PB. Who knows? I'm praying it does, dude. He ain't swirling yet. Are we in that one? We either got the same fish or I got one. <laughs> it looks like y'all got the same fish. Oh. It just felt so much better. Did he get both baits? No way he got both baits in his mouth. Swirling, he got tied up. Yeah, there, yeah he's all twisted. It might have been because you're dragging the other bait too. It's all tangled up from him twisting. Son, that's a mess. Babies, man. Yeah, we're catching dinks. We cannot get on these 40s. Hell, we can't even break his, his personal best at 25 right now. Pulling Seemed like drag. a good fish at first. He wasn't pulling drag by himself. He was pulling drag when he was pulling up on the rod pretty hard. So, might be a little bit of do with it, but we'll keep fishing, see what we can get. I don't think that's breaking 20 there. He's probably about 18. Yeah. Hey, there's another one right there, man. Gonna flop. Another 18, 18, 20 year old. We'll, it's call, good fish, we'll right? call him 20. This one actually has his color. He's not as dark as the yeah. other ones. Yeah, a little dude. We'll throw him on the string too. Why not? He's pretty though. Open that mouth, boy. Some geesey poos. Yeah, he's you better? There. Get him, dude. That's on. <laughs> There's a fish I'm streaming though. You got a rock fish. The rock fish. We just pulled up the anchors right there. We started drifting up this way. Started seeing uh, fish running from the boat going upstream. Uh, we seen about three or four, so the fish are here. There's a good little school. We're drifting back. We're gonna cut around them, get on top of them, get upstream from them, drop the anchors, and cast to them. First fish we've seen running from the boat all day. The water's just not not what we want. I mean, we, we can make this work. We, we, we're seeing something now, so uh, hopefully it works. This might be the last spot of the day, but uh, let's see let's see what happens. What you, what you think about this? Set the hook and reel them in. <laughs> well, we'll sit here and see what happens. Nice fishing. Throw out your rods, you sit, you wait. Rod bends over, you reel her in. All right, guys, the fishing day is over. We got Jeff, Bob, Joe. We got Joe. So Joe, Bob, Jeff. Let's get Joe for out first. Let him, let him go back, release him. Go ahead and get Jeff undone real quick. Come here, little buddy. Yes, we were just keeping the fish for the pictures. We were hoping to catch some 40s. That didn't happen. Right. Let's see. What's the release on? Release on Joe. Right. See you, buddy. Here's old Jeff. We'll see you, dude. Bye-bye. There he went. Who's that, Joe? This is Joe. No, that's Bob. That's Bob. That is Bob. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Bob. See ya, dude. There were no fish harmed in the making of this video. So I do want to go ahead and say today we were supposed to go after trophy catfish, 40, 50, 60 pounders. First time fishing on this river. For me, eight years, it's our it's our home river. I mean, this is this is it. This is where we do all our fishing. And we just haven't took the big boat out here too recently. But uh, yeah, man, first time back on the river. Wasn't too great. You know, we caught we caught two flatheads, 10, about 10 pounds, three or four 20 pound blues. And we broke off a good 30 pounder. That's just how it goes, man. Wasn't a good 
today, but we're gonna get back out here. We're gonna find them and uh, make some epic videos for you guys. When we get on them, we're gonna be on them. Please like, subscribe, everybody. Go subscribe to Lip in Their at, I mean Lip in Their Bass TV. <laughs> <laughs> Rip <in> Bass TV. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a great day today. We're gonna get back at it tomorrow. Fishing. We're going to. There's a pond that just opened up, opening up tomorrow actually, and nobody's bass fished it six to eight months. It's only open for a couple days of the year. We're the first one on it. We're gonna slay them. So stay tuned. Like, subscribe. You guys want to see more videos like this? Smash that thumbs up button. Not a ton of people really smash the like button on these fishing videos, so I don't do them as often. If you do, guys do want to see more stuff with fishing, go ahead, leave a like, especially catfishing. We'll catch you guys on the next one.